a warning from Escobar. Meet him? Ambush. That's why I have to go. Mrs. Corinthos to see you. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, my God. Was anyone hurt? Not this time. If that glass hadn't held, Emily would be dead. Just think about what I said. I have business to take care of. Is this something I should be worried about? It has nothing to do with you. I'm not worried about me. I put extra guards on the boys. They're going to be... I'm worried people. about you, Jason. What are you doing here? I guess this wouldn't be the best time to try and convince you to go back to Sam, huh? In the hospital. Which Jesus. can only be described as one of the weirdest experiences of my life. Claiming that we had something in common. That we finally were on the same side because we both want you and Sam apart. And the second she said that, I realized that it wasn't true. I want you to be happy, Jason. And you were when you were with Sam. I'll be happy now, she said. You never used to be able to tell a lie. Congratulations, you're getting really good at it. I can't tell Emily to stay away from Sonny because of the danger and turn around and say it doesn't apply to me and Sam, especially if she was, she was shot. And someone took a shot at Emily. Okay, so what's this going to get you, Jason, huh? What's it going to get you? Nothing. Because you're going to wind up alone. It's better than Sam being hurt again because of me. She's hurting. You both are. But she's alive. That's all that matters. Come on! Let's go, boy! Come on! Come on, hit me! Come on! Where, where the hell were you? Sonny walked into a restaurant full of Escobar's men, no gun, no backup. I'm sorry, Jason. He, he didn't tell me where he was going. It's your job to know. No matter what's going on between us, do not let it happen again. Hey, well, if Sonny does try to handle this on his own, what are we supposed well, to do? You're supposed to protect him no matter what he does. I'll be back to check on you in the morning, Mr. Krentos. Yeah, when can I take these stitches up? Uh, tomorrow. Should be fine. Okay. 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 Tell me Escobar's dead. Sonny, I couldn't take him out. In the middle of a restaurant full of witnesses, I was lucky to get you out of there alive. What were you thinking going there by yourself? Just protecting Emily. Because you couldn't. my son. Yes. Oh, Jack, so lovely to see you again. I was just admiring your handsome son. Really? Because you almost killed him once before by drugging Courtney when she was pregnant and throwing her off this very pier. Oh, no. I won't give you that chance again. Why so hostile? There's no need to be unpleasant. But I'm just here to offer my congratulations on the birth of your son. You stay away from John or I will kick your psychotic butt into next week. Well, when can we... Tour the new ship. No, no, honey. You take this and find fun places for us to go. Wait, Morgan, come here. Thanks. You know, open water can be very treacherous to small children. Are you threatening my children? Because that will get Elena, you a bullet. Why don't you give eyes. it up? Okay. You're no longer untouchable. Stay away from my son. Oh, such rage and passion! It's absolutely thrilling. <laughs> Something about fatherhood certainly has changed you. Escobar's gonna be dealt with. You got a timetable on that? You know what, Sonny? I don't want witnesses, and I would rather not provoke a war. It's not easy, right now. is it? Being the one in charge. Trying to figure out the right moment to strike instead of going in, guns blazing. Because that's what you used to do all the time. You miss it, don't you? Yeah, I do. I like the suit. Looks good on you. I hate it. You hate it? You hate making decisions? You hate the clothes you wear? Is there anything about the organization? 
my organization that you like? No. It didn't protect Emily like you thought it would. Nothing worked out the way I thought. Let me give you some news, Jason. Hardly anything ever does. It's, it's a bad idea to play God. Believe me, I know I've done it most of my life. I made, you know, decisions for other people, and most of the choices that I made were selfish. But at the time, I thought it was the right thing to do, protecting, you know, someone by leaving them or turning them away. But the thing that you need to understand, if you're making decisions for somebody else, then you gotta, you got to carry the blame if it goes wrong. Just like if, if, if Emily had died and that... It would have been my fault. Well, you, you, you would have had to take some responsibility. It would have been my fault if you would have died at Escobar's, too. Why, why'd you do it? You had no gun. You drove your own car. If you would have gotten out of the restaurant, you would have been shot before you got across the street. I was too, I was too mad. You, can't. you had to walk out of here, get into your car, drive over to Escobar's restaurant. You didn't think at one point that you would be outnumbered? I lost my temper! I get to do that now. You know? If, if, if some slime ball takes a shot at you and, and Emily's almost killed, then, then I get to pick up a, a bottle and knock him over the head. Because I don't have to think things through anymore. That's your job. I never wanted to run things. You know that. I thought of the, it was the one thing that I could make you give up. So that you would let Emily go. You miscalculated. Yeah. About a lot of things. It's fine, I made the choices. I will deal with the consequences. I will run your business. And I will protect the people I need to protect. But do me a favor. Don't get yourself killed. <laughs>